Hello and welcome to the video demonstration of our project for Communication Laboratory. The name of our project is Smart Banking System with Biometric Authentication using Bain Pattern and Double Layer Security Feature. Our whole project is briefly divided into six steps, which are NIR Image Acquisition, Image Processing, Database Creation for Banking, Authentication, Graphical User Interface for Banking System, and Communication with GSM. We have collected a database containing near-infrared image of dorsal hand of 111 subjects from Techno Campus with the help of our respected teacher Tarikul Islam sir. In addition to it, we are working with our own hardware setup for collection of NIR image. This includes removing the IR filter of a webcam which blocks the wavelength in the range of 720 nanometer and adjusting the focus of the camera. The collected image is then processed in several steps. First of all, denoising. Images in database contain a lot of salt and paper noises. For denoising, we have used Laplacian scale mixture modeling. This filter removes salt and paper noises and smoothens the image. Then comes ROI extraction. The region of our interest was cropped from the denoised image. For contrast enhancement, we have used pyramid-based edge-aware Laplacian filter. The veins in the images are accounted as edges and therefore darken while the background is suppressed. Then we applied contrast-limited adaptive histogram equalization on the image for improving the local contrast and enhancing the definitions of the edges in the region of an image. Knee black thresholding method was used for binarization of the image. This converts the image from a grayscale image to a binary image. And finally, several morphological operations like dilation, erosion, thinning, pruning were applied on the binary image for extracting the desired image containing the vein pattern. From database, we have found 10 NIR images per subject and applied our image processing algorithm with three different sets of morphological operation on each image twice to extract 60 vein images per person and 50 of them were used to create a database of each user. For our banking system we have primarily designed our banking system for 16 user which we can see here 16 folders each one for a user this database can be extended by similar processes for more users these images are used for training the network afterwards for authentication purpose at first we need to extract features from the vein images for extracting features we have used convolutional neural networking in our case, we have used LXNet architecture. This includes several layers such as convolutional layer, pooling layer, normalization layer, and fully connected layers. We have used fully connected layer FC8 for feature extraction. For verification purpose, we have used SVM multi-class classifier. It classifies the test data with the greatest margin. In our case, we have used the built-in MATLAB function for SVM classifier. This is a block diagram for verification. Classifier generates a label for the input image and this label is matched with the account number for verification. Decision is taken based on this matching of labels. We have developed a graphical user interface using MATLAB guide. This graphical user interface is demonstrated in the later portion of this video in detail. Finally, the hardware setup of our project. If the vein pattern of the user is verified, then he can access his account using a one-time password OTP which is generated by Arduino and delivered to the corresponding mobile number of the account using GSM. Arduino also sends the same password to MATLAB using serial communication for the matching of given password in the graphical user interface of the system. Now I am demonstrating our project. At first I am going to run the code for image processing. After running this code, we will get a processed image of vein pattern from the input image. A raw image of a random subject is chosen for demonstration. This image is given as input. Then the region of our interest is cropped out from the input image. We are waiting for the code to run.
Here we can see the progress of contrast enhancement in layers. Finally, we have got the final image along with the images of intermediate stages. This is the denoised image free of salt and pepper noises of the input noisy image. Then the contrast of the image is enhanced and we can see that the veins appear to be more darker and the background is suppressed. This is the image after histogram equalization. After binarization using Niblack thresholding method, the grayscale image has turned into binary image and the vein pattern is quite evident. Finally, after some morphological operations, we obtain single line vein pattern which is used for further application. Let's look at the hardware setup of our project. For this project, we needed a breadboard, an Arduino Uno, GSM module SIM 808A a SIM card and an antenna. The GSM is powered by the 5 volt from the USB of our laptop. Now for operating the GSM module we need to enter the SIM into the SIM block. As the SIM card is entered now we will power up the GSM module. As the GSM is powered, we can see that the LED is blinking very fast, which means the GSM is not stable yet. Now the LED is blinking once in 3 seconds, which means the GSM module has become stable and ready for communication. Now I will demonstrate the graphical user interface that we have built for our project using MATLAB guide. Let's walk through the interface that we have developed. At first the user will have to give his or her account number in here and press this login button. When the user will press this login button, his or her extracted vein pattern will be displayed here. Since we are demonstrating our project using database, we will load a picture of extracted vein pattern from our database. This will be demonstrated in the later section. Then the user will press this button to verify. Extracted feature of this input image will be used to generate label with the help of multi-class SVM classifier. If this generated label does not match with corresponding account number, then the user will not be verified and the message will be displayed here. If the generated label matches with the corresponding account number, then the user will be verified and his or her account details such as name, phone number and balance will be displayed in this section. And a message saying that the user is verified will be displayed here. After the verification, a one-time password will be generated randomly and sent to user's corresponding mobile number using GSM. The user will have to enter the received password in here and press this button for verification. If the entered password does not match with the generated password, then the account will be temporarily blocked and the message will be displayed here. If the entered password matches with the generated password, then a message will be displayed here showing password matched. Then the user will be verified for further transaction. Now I will test our graphical user interface. I will give an account number from our database.
and press login. From database, I will give a wrong picture as input. The input picture is displayed here and then press verify. We can see that messages shown here is not verified. Again, we will test our graphical user interface. This time, we will provide the right image from our database. The input image is displayed here. Now let's click on verify and see what happens. We can see that user is verified and account details are displayed here. A message is showing that account is verified and one time password is generated and sent to user's corresponding mobile number. Now let's give a wrong password in here and see what happens. The password entered did not match with the generated password and the message is saying that wrong password your account is blocked. Once again I will test our graphical user interface but this time I will give correct fan pattern of the user and correct password to see whether our interface verifies the user for transaction or not. So now let's begin with giving the account number. and press this login button to login now from our database i will give the correct pin pattern of the user and press this verify button to see whether our user is verified or not we can see that our user is verified and user's account details are displayed in this section a one time password randomly generated is sent to his mobile number now I will give the correct password and see what happens. And press this button. We can see that our password matched and the user is verified for transaction. So basically this is how our graphical user interface works. Thanks everyone for watching this video. If you have any question or query, kindly let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe this channel.